Hey nerds, welcome to our Play or Pass series. I'm your host, Joe Tweeten, and each week we pull out new titles from the Xbox Game Pass Vault, take them for a spin and give you our first impressions on said title. And at the end of every video, I leave you with a stamp of Play or Pass. Welcome to SnowRunner, guys. It's an off-road simulation video game developed by Saber Interactive and published by Focus Home Interactive. SnowRunner has the player control off-road vehicles as they traverse between locations to complete objectives. Came out in April of 2020, and now it's on Game Pass. Guys, I'm always up for something new, so you know the drill. Let's get to it. All right, <laughs> new game. Let's go campaign horde mode. Interesting. All right, let's just do this. Let's see what the campaign offers. Welcome to Michigan. Thank you for joining our recovery and maintenance effort after the devastating flood. We need all the help available to repair the bridge that collapsed. It's our only lake to the other side of the river. First, you need to find a watchtower to get a view of your surroundings. Then you have to find a truck capable of transporting the materials needed to repair the bridge. After the bridge is repaired, you'll be able to reach your first garage. Interesting. Oh, awesome. Okay. Remove handbrake or start engine and throttle. Cool. Your first move should always be to scout new areas. Press that to open the map. Okay. Okay. Let's actually. There we go. I was like, let's check the map. Left trigger, delete last waypoint. No, we're not doing that. Okay. We're looking for this tower. Or are we looking for this one? What? Chevrolet Watchtower. Is this not a watchtower? Alright. You know what? Doesn't matter. We're going to do this one. We're at 99% of fuel. That's cool. This is. I've not played too much uh, regarding simulation games, so this is going to be interesting. Oh my goodness, there's a handbrake and everything. <laughs> wow, and the terrain is actually brutal. Oh my goodness. When driving on rough terrain, you can switch to low gear. It'll slow you down, but will lower the risk of getting stuck. Hold left bumper and move right stick to left to activate low gear. Left bumper and right stick, okay. Low gear, alright. Oh my goodness, this is interesting. Was that not Loger? I thought it was Loger. Your truck is all-wheel drive capable. The AWD will also help in tough terrain, but will increase your fuel consumption. Left bumper and press X to activate the AWD. Left. I mean, is it is this auto? Yeah, we go a little faster, but it uses fuel faster, I guess. You should get off low gear when on normal terrain. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is. Oh, there we go. All wheel. There we go. AWD. Uses fuel faster, but it gets us moving faster. <laughs> Holy cow. I have. I gotta. Hey, leave a comment down below, guys. Name another game that you that does a lot of this kind of I don't know simulation off-roading driving because this is really new to me. It's fascinating, but also really cool. Yeah, because here, right, right here, as soon as we get to flat road, turn that off and then go to standard gear. Okay. Interesting. Alright, I think we're going up this way. I'm not sure. Looks like we got far enough through it here. Loger neutral ride. I guess 
A is auto. Oh my goodness, this is super simulation right now. 77 out of 80 liter. No! Good lord, pay attention. I almost hit that. Oh wow, we can <laughs> we can get a good inside view. I don't know if I like that though. Oh dear. Definitely not my forte. 15 miles per hour, really? You'll encounter different kinds of terrain such as road, dirt, mud, deep mud, water, rocky slides, snow, and ice. Only the most experienced drivers will, with well-equipped vehicles can drive on any kind of terrain. When in doubt, there's no shame in avoiding danger. You can find out more on the different types of terrain in the codex available in the menu. Alright. Oh dear. So I'm guessing up ahead is really bad. Alright, we're going to go AWD and go off-road for a minute. Rather than go through that crap. Oh dear, we're getting through all sorts of uh oh. Okay, let's not get stuck in it. Good lord. Jeez. Alright, we're doing alright. We're doing alright. My gosh, this is intense. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. We're back, almost back on marine roads. Refuel here or near any vehicle that may potentially carry fuel. Refueling is free as are repairs. Try to refuel as often as possible. Well, good. That's one last thing to freak out about. All right, let's see how refueling works. I've never done this before. Not in a simulation game, anyway. Press A, hold for fuel refill. Alright, that makes me feel good. It does. Uh, okay, close, cool. Didn't, not, okay, it's not so simulated that you have to get out and pump, but uh, we're definitely close to where we need to go. Okay, so that was the uh oh, don't go past zone. And it looks like it's over that way. Is there, a, is there a road to get to it, or do I have to off-road this whole thing? Uh, I'm good, uh, well, to get close to the watchtower, I'm going to have to off-road it. Yikes. Alright. Alright, let's off-road this. Let's see how far we go, guys. Yep, it's going to be brutal right here. Here we go. Rough roads deep waters I like I would drive through that but we're gonna go over the side here because I feel like that would just be dangerous also this is crazy like the whole gameplay is like realistically pitting me against the the weather and terrain note that the watchtower note that watchtower ahead such icons will help you to detect objective zones nearby that you can interact with sweet well, we needed to get to one of these. So it looks like we made it to our first one. Yeah. Good job. You discovered your first watchtower. Discovering watchtowers will reveal parts of the map. To repair the bridge, you'll need a bigger vehicle to transport materials. Open your map to look at your surroundings. Objective, find a truck capable of transferring the materials needed to repair the bridge. Alright. Opening up the map. Discovering watchtowers will reveal part of the map. The fog covers essential points of interest, like objectives, upgrades, and vehicles. Okay. So, find a truck, it says. By pressing right trigger, you can place markers on the map to help you navigate to your objective. You can delete the last marker with left or clear the route by holding left. Go ahead and plot a route now. Okay. Well, there's this thing here, you know. That's a lumber mill. Oh, what was that? We were almost on a sideboard trailer. GMC H9500. I mean, I'm guessing I want that vehicle next as a potential. Probably it's the close. 
This is the closest thing I'm going to say, so, uh, add destination point, right trigger. Uh, alright, well, let's go to the GMC truck. I think that's going to be on our docket here. Let's look. Yep, way over yonder, so got to figure out the best way to get there. I'm going to look at tire tracks and see where I can go. Let's hope it's not too insane. Looks like we're heading in the right direction, if not through a crazy trail here. So hopefully I don't run out of gasoline while making my way over there. Hmm. Alright, I think we're still doing alright. Not the best vehicle to drive in. But it'll get us there. Picking up a little bit of steam. By steam, I mean speed. Ooh, there we go. We have found ourselves our next level vehicle. I hope. Truck discovered. You found your first highway truck. This truck is designed for roads, so there are no off road options included. Try not to fall into the swamp or drive into deep mud with it. You can find out more on the different type of trucks in the codex available. Alright. To enter the truck, Open the functions menu by pressing up on the D-pad select the change truck option. Change truck option. Alright, gonna click A there. Here we are. Good. It's not the best truck for the job, but that it will have to do. The company Steel River Township is waiting for you to repair the bridge. You can find contracts like this one on the map menu. Whew. Alright. That's going to be interesting. This is going to be a little harder to get through, or I uh, want to drive around in. Alright, next objective. I mean, I assumed, like, where's the, where's the big guy? Switch to contracts and contract tab. Steel River Township. Old Bridge Recovery. Deliver old... The, to the old bridge metal beams delivered to the old bridge wooden planks all right well let's activate that one and uh, all right well we need to go to the new bridge and the old bridge so how do we get to uh, that's gonna be interesting all right wood planks to the old bridge here we go we're now ready to repair the bridge. This truck has space for cargo. Every truck, body, or trailer has a different cargo capacity measured in slots. This truck is able to transport two slots of cargo. Find the materials you need to repair the bridge and deliver them to the bridge building site. Okay. Well. Uh, it says I need metal beams. Well, shoot. Hmm. That's... Uh, <laughs> Fuel station, old bridge, lumber mill. I wonder if the lumber mill is going to have anything. Let's see that I need, you know. No, I know I need to add a destination. Come on, there we go. Let's try to get ourselves over to the lumber mill first and see what happens. Alright, here we go. We got a more most direct path here. We don't even have the material we need yet. Hope oh. and he's meant for on roading, so I don't know what's gonna happen here. I'm kinda of going off road here. Oh dear lord, we already got in deep mud. What am I doing? 
Metal beams. Where are the metal beams? That's where I'm trying to go. Oh my gosh. Alright, check the map again. You idiot. You're way up there and I need to I need to go here. So select marker. I need to go to the lumber mill. Where is it? Is it that over there? Because, like, I need metal planks, not wood, but let's see what we can get. Oh, here we go. Alright, couple options here. Let's go here. Cargo management. Alright, wooden plank is formed from flat timber used mostly in carpentry. Planks are vital to the construction of ships, bridges, houses, and a variety of other structures. Loading platform, manual loading platform. Oh, uh, let's just do that. Load. And I. Uh, hmm. All right, well, I guess I can do two things of lumber, right? All right, well, that's going to have to do, I think. And let's see how far we can go, because uh, first off, the uh, thing that needs the wood is the bridge. <laughs> so uh, I definitely did not get any metal for this one. Uh, but that being said, I need to go to the old bridge. Let's see, can we get there? All right, let's let's find out. Let's see which way I'm gonna go. All right, yeah, man, this is super. Crazy simulation-y. Let's see how far I can go without, you know, I don't know, dying. Or rolling off the road here. Come on, I know I got a heavy load. Jiminy Christmas, here we go. Gonna run out of metal real fast. This is, ah, oh, look at this, super simulation. This feels so right in a very, like, freaky way. <laughs> oh, there's, oh, no. Oh, dear Lord, I made it through that. that. I was a little concerned there. Where am I even at? Okay, I'm trying to go down here. That's where I need to go, and I need this thing to stop guiding me into the water. What is it? Do you know what I mean? Like, what's it doing? Alright, well, we're going to go uphill for a minute here and see where that takes us. Ah! Good thing this is a simulation. Oh no, dear lord, no! Nope, let's not get stuck. Come on. Alright, we're about to hit on, hit the ro road. Actual road, finally. Goodness gracious. Here we go. Alright, come on. Let's get to where we need to go. Oh, wait. Shoot, are we getting further away? No, we're not. We're right there. So why is it taking me the long way why? No, come on. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Let's see if that helps. That's just, that makes me feel a lot better. <coughs> All right. A little more direct, I imagine. Here we go. And I 
think it needs this lumber, so we're going to see what happens here. Oh yeah, this is where we need to go. Here we go. Er Unload, yes. Uh, wait. Oh. Dang it. Seriously, this one needs metal beams. <sighs> Old bridge needs metal beams. Dang it. Alright, what's nearby? That was wooden plank slumber mill. What did, where would I have gotten? Here maybe? Town storage? Shoot, well, problem with this is I'm not sure. Alright, well, you know what, we'll try. And we'll try to make this one it. There we go. Pretty straight shot. Oh dear. Alright, well. We need a lot different material for way over here. Hopefully the gas in this truck will last me. Vehicle damage? No! Oh, come on. You can open the function menu to get more details about the damaged parts. Alright, guys. I'm going to cut it off there for now. This is a very deep simulation game and one of my first that I've ever really gotten into. I've, I've played my fair share of, like, tactical over-the-top strategic type games um, this is probably one of my first simulation games like real-world simulation down to the whole fuel consumption management uh, resource management terrain management where you got to be careful and watch where you're traveling because certain vehicles you are driving may not be able to handle puddles, mud, ice, what have you, and so this is a really cool, unique experience. Um, it's really detailed, it seems pretty well thought out, I know there's way more to it than what we were able to sample in this short period of time in this video, but guys, it's on Game Pass, and I can't, I can't say anything negative about it, it's definitely something to put more time into it's definitely more of a relaxing take your time and manage type game so you know for that guys I give it a full stamp of play check this game out download it and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button ding that bell and keep up to date with all our playthroughs walkthroughs first looks and podcasts and as always my gaming nerds I'll see you on the other side.